Welcome folks, this is the Artillery Genius and we're going to be taking a good look at it today on the Technivorous channel. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. So let's just jump right into it here. There are a few things about this machine that I really, really love off the bat. Now some people are not a fan of the ribbon cables. Some people really like them. I like the way that they are very, very organized as opposed to separate cables coming out. That coupled with the fact that there's no snagging or anything like that, they are very, very well stiff. Um, so they kind of just roll with the printer. It looks nice and it works really, really well. The other things that I think are on the plus side for this printer are definitely the direct drive. This is definitely a heavy duty hot end. This is a little bit of a pain to get in there and change uh, the components, but it came pre-assembled and was ready to go and works really, really well. If we glance up near the top, it does have a filament runout detector there, and the spool system is also really, really well designed. These two arms that are holding the spool slide apart and closer together, depending on the size of the spool that you have in there, and on the side there are different placements for the wheels, so you can fit pretty much any size spool up there without any problems, and that's an issue that I've had with a lot of the other spool holders with other printers. Now, if you take a look at some of the models that I've printed on this machine, you'll see that it does very, very fine detail. It comes out really, really well. This is the Technivorous coin. I haven't printed one of these in a while. This is Polymaker Polyterra PLA, by the way. It's a forest green, and I thought it came out really, really well. I mean, sharp edges, nice detail, and very, very smooth grading on the stepping. So very very nice one of the other models i printed was this handy little thing here this is a lighter holder and i printed this because it is a great example of the awesome overhang capabilities of this machine now this is printed with no support and this whole piece right here came out pretty much flawlessly there is a little tiny piece right there where it beaded a little bit but other than that it is a really 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 nice overhang we also tested it out in vase mode and we had some really, really nice results. This is a heat wave vase I believe you can find on Thingiverse. I'll put a thing for this down below if you want to check it out. I print quite a few of these and I will say that this is comparable to the results I've gotten off of my Ender 3 V2. On that note, there are some things that are different from a machine like the Ender 3 V2 such as the 3.5 inch touchscreen you have down here. That is a nice addition, as well as the fact that the glass plate itself is actually mounted to the screws for the wheels. So you can't take this off and turn it over, but it does have a very, very nice adhesive surface on it, and it works really well. Size is comparable to machines in this price range at about 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters with 250 millimeters in the Z direction. So that is a pretty decent size it's something you're going to see quite a bit and fairly common it does also come with this nice bag of tools in here are a lot of things some extra ribbon cables some printer cables printer cords some extra nozzles some of the extra tools parts bits and pieces and even an extra three color led light which is mounted right here so i don't know why they give you an extra one of those i assume maybe it gets coated in plastic maybe they burn out i don't know but it's nice to know that you do get an extra one. And if you watch that, it will change color over time. You can actually also set the color in here through the LCD touchscreen. And one of the other great features about this machine is the standard size USB stick. It does have a micro SD slot, uh, but you can put files directly to the printer right from the USB stick, which I think is a great addition to the board that's in here. And it functions really, really well. So all in all, this setup right here is a brilliant setup i am loving this machine and in fact i think i have a new clear winner in my head as far as the 300 dollars or less price range so you get this one for right around 240 to 260 depending on where you get it from i will put a link down below but at the moment yes i am gonna have to say i recommend this more than the ender 3 v2 if you want to find out why you'll have to stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a video comparing the two of them but for right now suffice it to say this thing is quieter it is a little bit faster with the same quality, and there are just some variations on here that are very well thought out, and I think that the Ender could benefit from maybe stealing a couple of these ideas, such as the expandable tool holder up top, or a spool holder up top, and, and things like that. The other thing I wanted to mention is it does have this heavy duty 40 by 20 
on the uh, x-axis here so this bar is really sturdy you don't get any slippage like you do in the eccentric nuts sometimes in the ender 3 v2 so whether or not you should check out the artillery genius i'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up i say definitely buy one this is probably the machine that if i were going to start a print farm it it would be definitely up there probably number one if not top three on the list for sure of quality budget printers that will give you a nice product without too much hassle so definitely if you get the chance to play around with one of these get your hands on it it's a very nice machine and that's going to be it for this one guys stay tuned for that comparison between this and the ender 3 v2 and a lot more cool videos coming up on the Technivers channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And please, if you haven't already, leave a like on this video. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right. Finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the teespring merchandise bar below the video and thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way in fact i've thrown a couple of suggestions videos for you to watch on the screen right now so go ahead and check those out when you get done don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise there's plenty of stuff to see and thanks for watching guys